everybody it is Sunday I am here with a thrift haul for you guys I went to a thrift world sale it was 50% off everything because it was national thrift shop day I think so I got a bunch of stuff from there as well as some stuff from a couple of goodwills so I'm going to be showing you that today I feel like my hair is like crazy I had a volleyball tournament yesterday my boys won first place unsurprisingly it was an easy tournament but it was still fun <laughs> So I'm filming this before I go to church. If you are new here, thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Heather and I am a full-time reseller. I do three videos a week, so please subscribe down below if you haven't yet and give this video a thumbs up. If you see anything you're interested in, you can message me on Instagram. That's the best way. Let's get into it. I did get a few Lululemon tank tops at the thrift store, even though sometimes I say I'm not going to anymore and then I'll sell one for a decent price and then I get them again. But I might bundle these together because I think there's like three of the same size and they're all the same style. I think this is like the Power Y. If I'm not mistaken, it is a green polka dot tank top, Lululemon. I think they're a size six. This one doesn't have like the bra pad things. Um, and I don't see a size dot, so I'll check the other ones, but they're only $2.99 at this Goodwill. So I'm like, okay, that's not bad. So I got that one, um, this one, this one's striped, like blue, teal, white. Let me see if this one has a size dot. Okay, this is a size four. So maybe they're size four. I remember they were like a four or a six. Again, $2.99. And then, oh, I thought the other one was right here. Okay, I don't know where the other one is. I guess we'll keep looking. Uh, I found these Lululemon leggings. These are almost like a violet blue color, but I don't know the style. There's pockets here, and then they go down with some mesh at the bottom. These, let me find a size, are a size eight. So probably kind of older because they do have some numbers around them, but not like the newer style. So I'm guessing just like to about $20, $25 in those. Okay, next I got this Rails shirt. I thought this would be good for the fall. It's very like military uh, green with the patches like on the sleeves there. And it's a size large, so great size. There's a couple of stars printed on it. So that's pretty cute. Next I decided to try this vintage Lee shirt. Um, they had a lot of vintage shirts, but this one I felt like could do good. It is made in the USA. I can't tell the size. Actually, it says 16 and a half at the top. It has pearl snaps. It's floral. I don't know if I'm going to list this as men's or women's because I feel like they could both wear it. But I feel like this is really cool. It's, it was only $3.99. So let me know if you've sold like a vintage like Lee Western shirt before and how it did for you. And then this is the other vintage shirt I got just because I felt like it was so cute. Um, striped with little flowers and it's got the like button neck, kind of square neck. And then it has these ties down on the side, probably a three quarter sleeve. Probably would be like an extra small to small. And that's it for that bag. Let's get this other Goodwill bag. Okay, this is the brand Fresh Produce, which I've heard from a couple of people that it can do good in larger sizes. This is a size extra large. It's a teal, kind of like gauzy, long sleeve button up top. It can button like a roll tab sleeve there. Um, that was $6, and it is 100% cotton, made in the USA. So I figured I would try that out. I like, when I went shopping this day, I was like completely out of inventory, so I'm like... Okay, I gotta just try some stuff because I needed to get stuff home. I knew I had a busy weekend where I couldn't go out shopping. Um, I got this really old tag Torrid sweatshirt, but I feel like the style is still cute. It's a size 4X, but it's kind of like this gray tie-dye zip-up short sleeve hoodie. Um, normally I don't get Torrid in that old tag, but I feel like this somehow is still a style that could be current. So 
I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I got these Athleta pants. They're a size 12 tall. So the larger sizes, tall sizes, jogger styles are doing good for me right now. So they're really kind of like a lightweight jogger style. I don't know the exact name. I'll have to look it up here um, on the little tag on the inside. But those should do good. Joggers are kind of selling better for me than leggings lately. Oh, that's just a tank top for myself. Okay. Uh, next Goodwill bag. Here's the other tank top. This one was a purple, just a solid purple. Uh, Lululemon, again, same style, Power Y. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll put them all together. This one's a size 6, so maybe I shouldn't. So, 6, the other one was a 4. I'll measure the one that I couldn't find the size and see, like, what it matches up to the best. I need a drink. Okay, next is a Lauren Ralph Lauren sweater. So, I get this brand sometimes depending on style or fabric content. This is a silk cashmere blend size large with fall coming up sweaters are going to be selling really well so i did decide to try this out it's just gray very lightweight here comes isabel uh this is the brand peruvian connection which i actually haven't gotten in quite a while but this is an open cardigan sweater that i hope will do good it's a size large um i don't know what kind of pattern this is three quarter sleeve knit open sweater it kind of has like a scalloping around the edges and it is 100 percent pima cotton so i'll see if i can google lens this style otherwise i'll probably just price it around 40 i don't know okay next uh another person also talked about michael kors in plus size doing well this is a size 1x off shoulder white long sleeve top or maybe three quarter sleeve top i think it might have been mcthrifty or grateful queen i can't remember which one so i'm gonna try it again another thing just trying it out seeing how it does for me okay and then we have this maggie barnes so so sometimes i've seen collabs with this with Catherine's, which is why i got this it's a 3x like black animal print sheer um long sleeve top kind of like a tunic length that should be a good style plus size and like animal print does well for me Okay, let's keep going with these large bags. I think this is getting into the half-off stuff for Thrift World now. So I got lots of good denim. First, we have this pair of Rock Revival jeans. These are very blingy pockets, which is good. And they're a size 34, which is amazing. So these are the, what's the style? Easy boot. Rock Revival jeans. Yes, I will sell these and they should do well because jeans fall, Rock Revival, bigger size. Thank you. Okay, and then here's another pair. These ones are not so blingy and they're kind of like a Bermuda or like a Capri length. They're a size 31 though, which is why I got them. Um, it just does better in bigger sizes. So hoping I can still sell those pretty decent. They were cheaper than the regular jeans. Here's another pair. These ones are in a size 32 and they are a skinny style um, with some distressing and a kind of a lighter wash. So again, larger size should do well. We have a pair of Can Can jeans. I still get these sometimes in the larger sizes. Um, these are a size 32. So super stretchy, dark wash, uh, raw hem with a little bit of distressing skinny jeans on the bottom. I was like, yes, give me all the jeans for fall. This is a cute hoodie for like country. It's Ariat, which is like a good like Western brand. And it's a size extra, extra large. So a good size too. It's like a cow print. <laughs> pullover sweatshirt so that's amazing i had to get that that was on a new rack they were still pulling out new racks with the sale which was great here's a pair of ariat jeans and these are a size 30 so last time i had some of the ariat jeans they sold super quickly uh they're like a boot cut style i think so hoping that these do the same 
I'm gonna have to do like some major work down here today because my room's getting messy. And then here's another pair. It might be the exact same pair. It's the exact same size. Medium wash, size 30 again. Don't really need to show those too much. Um, this is an interesting pair. It's like the brand Rockies, but this is a red pair of dead stock. So dead stock means like when it's vintage and it still has the tags on and has this like V in the front with these studs. It's a relaxed fit size five. 27 um like a straight leg but i saw used pairs selling for like 40 to 50 red rocky vintage jeans so i was like okay i'm gonna try this new with tags pair and we'll see how they do they're pretty long so it could be for a tall person or i don't know i guess maybe it could be hemmed this is a flannel for me okay red pants these are from the brand norma kamali which I actually haven't gotten in a really long time, but I've been seeing a couple of people pick this up and sell it well. So I'm gonna try mine are a pair of like red pull-on pants. They're kind of like a jogger style and like a lightweight jersey knit. So we'll see how they do size medium. We will try that. And then next, this was amazing. I found these Ula Johnson pants and it was just so funny because they were priced at $5 and then they had like, you know, the rock revivals up to like 20 or whatever. And I'm just like, and other things, there was like new with tags, free people pants for like $60. I'm like, <laughs> you're not even going to sell those a half off. And then I'll take Ula Johnson for freaking five. This is like a button fly high rise white pair of maybe boot cut or flare pants. I don't know if they have style numbers in there, so I'll have to look. It does say Eula Johnson and all the buttons, so that's pretty cute. Um, let me see what size they are. They are a size four, so that's good. Cotton blend, no style number, so hopefully I can find the name of these or figure that out before I list them for comps. Okay, we have a pair of Madewell jeans. So, Madewell. These are the Cali Demi Boot in a size 25 petite. So, just a good medium wash, raw hem style, kind of a little bit of a cropped style jean. This is a pair of Chico's pants. So, they're size one and a half, which I think might be a small or medium. But they're this really cute seahorse print, and I looked up comps, and they were selling like 20 to $25. Um, pretty quickly. There's not very many available, but there was quite a few sold, which should mean I should sell them quickly. Uh, I did look that up on eBay. Next, we have the brand Fig and Flower, which I don't get all the time, but it does good in like extra large or larger. And this is just a really pretty like embroidered, sheer, long sleeve button up. It's, let me see what the fabric is. Um, okay, it's just polyester rayon. For some reason, it felt a little like linen, but yeah, that's super cute. So I wanted to grab that. Next, we have a pair of bird dogs for my brother to sell. So here's that. He's on vacation in Florida. I didn't bother asking him if he wanted to sell these. I just figured he would. So blue pair of shorts. That's a good men's brand to be on the lookout for. I think my throat's so dry from all the screaming yesterday. Like cheering. <laughs> Okay, this is just for Ryan to sell. Cabbie, he likes selling that. A sweater. Got to give that to him. Um, I did get a couple of these J. Jill sweaters. They're in a size 4X, which is why I grabbed them. This is a blue, just like solid V-neck sweater. And the fabric is a cotton viscose nylon, but like J. Jill... Talbots does good for me in the plus sizes. This is the same style. Just a black. So good basic sweaters um, for maybe like work or school or something like that. Okay. Next bag. Okay, we have more jeans and a receipt. Okay, here we go again with the Ariat jeans. I was so excited to be finding so many, and these ones are a size 33, so even better. 
Um, Ariat jeans always have a style number on the inside, so it's pretty easy to look up. Sometimes it's even spelled out. These were from, oh, this bag is from a thrift store that I don't go to very often. But when I do, they have like a boutique section. And I think they just restocked for fall. So I got like a lot of good stuff. And I like had to jet in and out of there really fast because I had to get home for something. And so I was just like throwing stuff in my cart. <laughs> like I didn't look anything up, but I think I got some good stuff. These are the Kubel's jeans. I know this brand is really expensive. I don't know how the jeans do. That might be a style. Lizzy, Lizzie. I don't know. Again, did not look anything up because I didn't have time. Um, I'm trying to see what size they are. I don't know. I'll have to measure them. They seem smaller, like a 26, 27 maybe. Sorry. Black, uh, high-rise skinny jeans. So, excited to find that brand. Have not found that in quite a while. Okay, I had to get this dress because look at it. It's like a black cat face, like mini dress, velvety, and then it's like sheer mesh, and then the back is all sheer mesh. The brand is cooperative, so I don't know if that means anything or if that is anything. It's a size medium, but I'm like, I don't know. I couldn't leave that behind, so I had to get that. All right, we got this sweater by All Saints, which is a good, expensive brand. All Saints, size US 4. Actually, is it a, what is going on here? Okay, look, here's the neck. Here's this. It's like one cold shoulder and one normal. And actually, I think it's a dress. So <laughs> I guess we'll look that up. That's a little weird. I didn't notice that when I got it. And the fabric is, oh, it's called the Sago, Sago dress. That's nice. They have it printed right in here. It's a silk cotton blend. So I'll be excited to look this up. I uh, got this for myself. I have a Sublime t-shirt that I love. And it's like the same print but on a sweatshirt. So I'm like, yes, please. Uh, next is a Desigual dress. So I've been selling this brand pretty decent. This is like a printed dress and it's got flowers on it. Um, belted, probably knee length, more in the back, and it like has the brand name printed out there. Um, it also says down here, Desigual new and good. It's not the game, it's not the same. I'm so stupid. <laughs> you are Desigual. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know what that's all about, but that's what it says. Style, size extra small. So extra small on that dress. That cl their, their clothing is actually like really expensive. I got this blazer because I just felt like the style was really cute. It's a size 14, so um, those bigger styles, but it's red with navy blue with these gold buttons. It's kind of giving me like nautical vibes. So I was like, yes, I definitely want to try that. Next is the brand Babette. I've sold this like once. It's like an expensive, like kind of office style brand. I feel like they make a lot of stuff like that, like a dress pant. These are a pair of black wide leg high rise pants. Um, and then they have like the snap at the bottom. So interesting detail there. Um, yeah, I don't know how much they're gonna go for, but I knew it was expensive. Um, here's another blazer. I think it's like the same style, but just a different color. Yeah. It's like white with navy blue. This one's definitely more nautical than the red one, but I feel like these are really, and they're like a tweed material. So I was like, yes, please. Those are great. And then we got this cabbie extra large for Ryan. This actually might be a dress. It kind of has like these ruffles at the bottom. Plaid, academia, Okay, I had to get this just because I felt like I had to. <laughs> so, kind of funny, but I'm like, somebody wants this, right? It's BDG, size small. Somebody's going to want that sweater. It's not going to be me, but I will not leave that behind. Okay, I see collection. This brand has been selling very, very quickly for me all the time. I just sold the pants, so I'm like, yep, I'm getting this. It's a red 
It's got these like grommets almost at these bell sleeves tunic with the black and exposed zipper with the big like zipper pull. So that was only $5. I will always pick up that brand. And then we have one more thing from Thrift World and then we'll be done. Oh. Okay, let's get into it. A sweatshirt or a sweater. This is Soft Surroundings Extra Large. This is a pink, almost velvety, like, button front, kind of like a baby doll style tunic. So that's pretty cute. We have a Ariat hoodie, again, size large. This one's purple, kind of like a mock neck, but it says Ariat across the front in, like, these little, like, sequins. So kind of a crossover at the bottom there. Okay, next is a Catherine's 4X, like open, I don't know if you would call this a cardigan because we feel like cardigans are sweaters, but it's kind of like, it's super soft, whatever material it is, but it's just like an open cardigan-ish, whatever you want to call it. It's faux suede, it says. Um, maybe a jacket, but it's super lightweight. It's kind of stretchy. So I like that. Next we have a Prana dress. This is a tank top style dress with a built-in bra. It's a size medium, striped, probably knee length, high neck, super cute. I've sold Prana dresses before around $30, so we'll see with that one, but especially because like, it's kind of summer's ending, but hopefully I can still do decent with it. This is J. Crew size large, J. Crew factory, animal print, like long line cardigan sweater with pockets. This is super cute. I think I've sold this before. And I think with fall coming up, I'll definitely be able to sell it well. I'm gonna put that over there. Okay. Next is a Derek Lamb 10 Crosby sweater. This is blue ribbed with this big like ruffle sleeve. It's a fitted sweater. And let me check the fabric. It is a wool viscose cashmere blend. So that's good. I did look up comps. I think they're selling between $30 to $40. Next, we have a Talbot size 12 blazer. This one's like a hunter green, like houndstooth style blazer. So I wanted to grab that. Larger sizes blazers for fall. Yes, please. Okay, next, what is this? It's like a long kimono, I think. Oh, it's Umji. So Umji size large, I don't get very much, but like, I feel like this is so cool. It's this long sleeve, if I can get it. Duster, like probably all the way down, open kimono with this floral pattern. It's kind of sheer, it has a little bit of an open back. So I just felt like that was really cute and like a good style. And then now I'll show you my shoes and then we'll be done. So I got these pair of Merrells. These are like a Mary Jane style shoe, canvas, slip on. They are a women's size seven. Next, I got these pair of Nike Air Max. They're almost my size. If they are, I'm going to keep them. I mean, like they're a size 10. Sometimes I can fit 10, 10 and a half, but mostly 10. But it says Air Max Thea on them. I didn't look up comps because I wanted to keep them, but I figured if not, like it's all leather and almost like a reptile print here. Um, if not, I'll should be able to sell them because I feel like that's a cute style. And then I got these Hey Dudes. These will sell quickly. They've been selling quickly for me, like 15 to 20 bucks. Um, women's size seven, they are the Wendy, just like a black pair. And I got a pair of sandals by Vionic. This is like a slip on slide black pair, like kind of a shiny patent leather and they are a size eight. And the last pair I got are some men's Wolverine boots. So kind of like a work brand or maybe outdoor they are a size 12 EW, whatever that means. 
I don't know. If you guys know what EW means, let me know. But like leather waterproof, good pair of boots. So that is it for my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is a longer one, a little bit longer than normal. But I wanted to show you everything that I got. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And I'll see you guys again on Tuesday. Bye.